thrilling night of top 16 action in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague saw a living legend return to the scene of former glories. A spectacular game of the week between title contenders and two more encounters that went down to the very final seconds. Jalgiris Kaunas hosted Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar and after a strong start for the hosts, Derek Brown helped Lokomotiv take control. Their lead reached 10 in the third quarter, but Jalgiris never stopped believing and behind Roberta's Javtokas clawed back the deficit. Marcus Williams made a pair of clutch jumpers, but the game came down to the final seconds before the visitors held on for an 85-86 victory. In an emotional night, coaching legend Zelko Obradovic returned to Oaxaca, but Panathinaikos Athens left all emotions aside for a crucial matchup in Group E. Emir Preltic led Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul with 13 points and 6 assists, but Michael Bramos amassed 23 points on 7 of 8 three-point shots and Dimitris Diamantidis added 15 points, 6 assists and clutch free throws to lead Panathinaikos to a 76-67 win. Partizan NIS hosted Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv in Belgrade hoping to stay alive in the race for the playoffs. Maccabi took control early and led with double digits as big man Sophocles Shortsanitis dominated inside while six different players hit from long range. But Partizan rallied in the fourth quarter behind Bogdan Bogdanovic and its faithful fans and held on in a thrilling ending for a 72-70 win. A battle of titans for first place in Group F took a record-breaking performance to survive. Post Real Madrid and Cesca Moscow went through eight ties and 17 lead changes in a tense first half as Rudy Fernandez and Sonny Weems put on scoring shows. Madrid pulled away behind 28 points from Fernandez as his team set an all-time EuroLeague record with just two turnovers against the competition's best defence to win 93-79 and reclaim group leadership with just three games remaining. Bellissimo. Well, I see you in Milan. Buy your Final Four tickets here.